Hello. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I know. It happens. Bad penny and all that, you know. Anyway, I have been told that there are some people who think that Ace Butte nostalgia and Revolution Birds of Paradise are kind of a dupey thing. And I'm going to see if I can figure that out or not. I'm going to do one on one side and one on the other. Now, when you look at them, I'm not sure they're really all that dupey. You know, you got a lot of the same colors, but uh, I'm not so sure. We shall see. I'm going to use the same kind of brush on each side, but I'm going to do the thing with the thing and the other thing and that thing and this thing. And I'm going to start off with my favorite elf stuff. We all know about this stuff. Anybody who's been here anytime knows. How I am about elf products, best things on the planet. Well, best things on the planet for my price point, anyway. Got my elf putty eye primer. Get that put on. Now, for any of you who know I also shop Miss A, this is an AOA Studio brush. And I really like it and a few others that I have gotten from there for doing the eye primer stuff. because It's got a nice big surface, but it's also got kind of a angle to it. So, I can get kind of an angle going. It makes it easier to do some of the sweep. Get the putty spread out where I need it to be. Now this is the E102 from AOA Studios own brush. And AOA Studio is the house line for Shop Miss A. I dearly love their brushes. And when you're talking about a buck a piece, yeah, really, really nice brushes. Okay, got that on. Now, which one am I going to do first? Got to figure out my colors here. Got my brush spray at hand. Let's see. I think, and before you say anything about me saying, I think, hush. Let's see, I'm trying to make sure of which ones I've got that really kind of, okay. There's a lot of the purples that match up, red and some of the, let's see, orange works. And there's several orange pieces that would work. Um, and then there's that yellow. Let's see where we go. Get me some brushes out of here. Fluffy brushes. Yes, fluffy brushes. Okay. Now, the nostalgia does not have the blues. 
and it only has one actual orange orange and the yellow is a little bit weird so I'm probably going to go with the purples and see where we end up with the purples so I'm going to start with tail feather from Birds of Paradise with this brush By the way, for the most part, I really like the Revolution. It's pretty nifty stuff. Then I'm going to take, from Nostalgia, I'm going to take flip-flops. I dearly love the Ace Mute, but they're a little out of my price range. Most of the time, I got the Ace Butte through a box. So it was one of my subscription boxes that I got it through for practically nothing. It was an add-on piece, and I think I spent 12 bucks. I'm going, hey... I can work with that, you know? I can work with 12 bucks. Okay, looks like Tail Feather, which is a similar color, but it's definitely gonna take some build up. And I may have to mix some of the vacay in to really get the same tone. Because let's be real, we're talking about a big difference in price point normally. And Ace Butte is well-known for having a gorgeous formula. I'm going to be very bright today. Can we tell? Now, you could see I did not mix brushes. And then... I'm going to use see two different brushes. Both of them are kind of a dome. I don't have two identical currently, but they're similar shapes. This one's a little fluffier than this one. <laughs> Which one am I going to do, guys? Let's be really obnoxious and do something very silly. I'm going to start... I'm going to pick up some of the oranges in here. Purple and orange. It's going to be interesting up Cardinal from the Birds of Paradise. And I mean, we're talking Road Cone Orange. Road Cone. Right 
Oh, come. Puppy hair. I don't need puppy hair. Puppy hair in my brush is not great. Yeah, definitely going to be on the editorial committee today. Now, from Ace Butte, we are picking up a vacation. Vacation. Another road cone orange. Yeah. Do the same thing, kind of tap it over the purple at the end here and drag it across the lower lid just a bit out here in the corner. And then take some of it down under the eye just because. Why am I putting all these colors together? I have no idea. None. No clue whatsoever. Now. That's probably about as close as I'm going to get. Kind of a orangey pink or pinky orange, or kind of a, a coral, those two are going to go in the inner corner. They're definitely a little different, but they're similar enough, I think they're going to be fun. Two flat brushes. These are AOA Studio. The ones that I used just a minute ago, we have Animore Professional. It goes up on AliExpress for dirt. And then this one is an elf brush. Now, Let's see, I'm picking up Exotic from Birds of Paradise. And we'll see how well this works. I don't know, it's got kind of an odd creamy texture in the pan. I may be using my thinner because it's really not picking up on the brush and it's got one of those kind of squishy things that where I don't think it's going to do any good whatsoever to, to spritz it. So, finger fold. And 
condemned again. Now, this one is very smooth compared to the one in the Nostalgia palette. It's very smooth. The one in the Nostalgia palette's a bit more chunky. Chunky. Chunky, chunky. Chunky, chunky. But, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the finger. Because I used the finger in the in the Birds of Paradise, so nostalgia is getting the finger. And this one I'm picking I got picked up exotic in Birds of Paradise, and now I'm picking up heat in Ace Bute. Okay, the color is definitely denser in the Ace Bute. I will probably not need to put any more on on the Ace Bute side. Because I've still got color on my finger after that I will be picking up more of the exotic and see if I can build that up enough that it doesn't look way off And then, I'm going to take just the basic fluff and kind of do this over the whole thing. And then... I'm going to clean this up just a little bit and I'll be right back because I promised somebody I would show them something that I've been doing with some of my foundation stuff. I'll get a few things cleaned up, do things like the brows. When I go to put the foundation on, I'll be back for a few seconds so, you, so we can show her that. And she's one of my newer um, subscribers, so I'm going, let's be nice. Because it, it is a little weird. I use the, the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, which is really thick. And then I use the e.l.f. Serum Foundation, which is really runny. And I mix them together on a little palette. And all that stuff. So, and she wanted to see that. So, we will show her. So, there. We will show her. I will be right back. Alrighty. Alright. I cleaned things up. Got my eyebrows on. Have not finished, finished. I'm going to do the foundation now. And I got to tell you, especially when it comes to that shadow that I used in here. Okay. 
Ace Bute and the Birds of Paradise. Nostalgia versus Birds of Paradise. They're similar, but definitely not a dupe one for one. Um, it just it just isn't. The color um, payoff. Not the same. Not the same. Anyway. Oh, CC cream. One, two. Yes, I use two squarts because this stuff is thick and hard to spread. Well, foo, I got the other face brushes. I just washed a bunch of brushes, so I'm trying to get brushes recycled. I'll be right back. Had to get my foundation brush. Ha! Clean one even. So. Now that I've got me a clean foundation brush, I've still got my two squirts. See, this is thick stuff. This is two squirts of the Camo CC cream. And the serum foundation has actually got one of the little shaky balls. I don't know if you can hear it. That's my new microphone, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's sitting a lot closer than it normally does because the microphone I had before is the one that's in the camera that's way back here. This one is right here, <laughs> under my nose. Okay, one, two. Now look at that stuff run. It's runny. Then I take the brush and I go mash, 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 spin, spin, twirl, twirl, mash, 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 mash. And then, you know, you do that, you've got all this makeup on the tip of the brush. So you do one, two, three, four, and a little, and get it kind of spread out over your mush. And then take your brush and start smearing. And yes, I've got my sunscreen and all that stuff on. I just dab some more off the palette and dab it, dab it, dab it. Dab it. Yes, I know it's hot around here, but you know, that's how it goes. I'm putting makeup on. We'll see how it holds up later. Got my sunscreen on. Got my zero sweat on. I'm going to powder it. I'm going to spray it. We harvested the rhubarb yesterday. 64 
quart of rhubarb before it was cooked down. I was just with it cut up. Do, 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 do. It's like the CC cream has got another layer of sunscreen in it. No, it doesn't add together and increase your sunscreen, but never hurt. Never hurts. It's one more layer it's got to get through. Now, the sunscreen I, try, I got on today came in the birch box and this is Ipkin little sample and it's one of the Korean makeup brands and it's called sun cream with apple extract now it smells wonderful and it says it's an SPF 50. Normally, I'm a little heavier on my face because of my autoimmune issues being UV reactive. But I wanted to test this. See how it goes. So far, it's lovely. It goes on easy. Soaks in quick, leaves a nice surface. <laughs> do, da, do, do. Do, da, do, do, do. Anyway, that is the big reveal on mixing those two products. It's like, yeah, I could probably get away with a squirt and a half, or even one squirt, maybe. But, this is pretty good. So, now I'm going to go do some powder and, and, and other stuff, and eyeliner such and then I should be back to show you what what the finish looks like you've got an idea what the finish looks like already I am probably going to get a couple of stills for the video for thumbnails and then I will probably go back in and take that much brighter color that's here and put it over here before I go out the house because I got a couple of errands. Alrighty, back in a tick. Okay, I'm back. Mostly. I've got some eyeliner on. Let me dig the mascara out of the corner here. Got a little blush, a little contour. Bronzer, kind of, yeah. We know how we do that. We really do. Get a little mascara up here. Yeah, my eyelashes are starting to come back. The eyelash serum is doing its job. 
Uh, you put a little mascara on so it looks like you have them. But you can definitely see what I'm talking about with the differences in intensity between the Revolution and the Ace Bute. It's how it works. You can get similar looks, you're not going to get identical looks. You're not going to get an actual doopity doop doop. Doopity doop doop doop. Like I said, I'm probably going to put some of the inner color from Ace Butte on the other side. Before I go out because they're just really not close enough otherwise and you know, it, of course I'm vain what else am I doing here da -da 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 -da. Dee -dee 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 -dee. little mascara Now this is the brown mascara that I picked up from AOA Studio. And I've got brown in my eyebrows. And the liner is brown. The brown liner is from LA Colors. Yes, I know there's a mirror in the way, kind of. Blush is from Profusion. Bronzer is Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in Light. I'm trying to use up one of my Let's Not Talk About It. highlighters here we know about the let's not talk about it stuff right there zip do da zip zip do da zip right there just a little flash at the eyebrow do, 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 do. A little bit of flash on the cheek. Yes, we know. I like glowing so that they can see me from space. We all know about that. It's like, hey, aliens, I'm down here. Flash. the only thing that's upsetting I mean it's a really great formula too bad they've got some really crappy politics anyway out of the birch box this is a sample from benefit I little tea tiny teeny tiny 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 sample from benefit this is for a lip Balm. The full sized one is 28 bucks. And they that that much and that's all they can bother to send. Mm. Anyway, it's play tint. I have no idea what color it is. I didn't see anything that gave a name. 
there, I found it finally. The letters are only this big, right? Pink lemonade. Now, it's supposed to be lip and cheek, and it's like, yeah, no. I'm not putting this on my cheeks. However, it don't look too heinous on the lips. And it's kind of sticking to the theme for the eyes. Now, when I swatched this on my hand yesterday, after it finally mostly dried down, it didn't really dry down a lot, but once it mostly dried down, there was still a little wet patch, so I got rid of it, and it left this kind of a corally patch on my skin. It took forever to get rid of it, so... We'll see how it does like this today. Anyway, there you go. Revolution, Birds of Paradise, Ace Butte, Nostalgia. Don't forget, tell me what you think. No, really. That's why there's a comment section. Tell me what you think. Leave me messages. I dare you. Remember, mind your manners. Be nice to somebody for no good reason. If they are still under mask at your location, wear it. Keep your distance. Wash your hands. If you have not been vaccinated, get on with it. And we're this much closer, this much closer, to getting the book out and believe it or not it looks like it's going to be coming out in paperback and ebook at the same time like i told people if you are buying the paperback i am going to get some book plates that i can sign and i will mail them to you so you can put it in your copy because the Books are not being mailed out from me directly, so that's how that works, guys. If I ever get it to hardback, we'll talk about doing some sort of a signing, maybe. We'll see. Because I'd have to order them in first and then sell them out. Such a pain in the butt. Some of this stuff is just a pain in the butt. You know, because I'm not waiting at 62. I'm not waiting forever to see if a brick and mortar publisher picks me up. This is definitely going through a self-publishing thing. If I get an offer from somebody that's in brick and mortar at some point, yeah, we'll see. one tried to sneak in anyway there you go one last look i'm going to go take some stills now fix the little th issue that i have with the brightness of the color in the center here and go do my errands be good <laughs>